Hello, welcome to MasterCook's very first webinar. My name is Pam Erickson and I'm here with the MasterCook team. Some of you may already know me. I provide technical support to MasterCook users through the support forum. I'm also a contributing member of the MasterCook discussion group on Yahoo Groups. Today we're going to go over some of the web features of MasterCook and talk especially about the web import bar for your personal use. We want you to understand what you can do with a web account and how to use the import bar or bookmarklet with your MasterCook program. We're also going to take some time at the end of, to answer questions that you might have about mastercook.com. You can type a question into your GoToWebinar window at any time, but we will wait until the end of the presentation to answer them. But before we get into those details, I'm going to invite our head of development, Tony, to tell you about the vision we have for MasterCook on the web. Because what we're providing you now on the web is very much a beginning. And what you are dedicated users to know more about what we've got planned. So I'm going to let Tony speak to that now. Hi everyone. Thank you for coming to our webinar. First, I want you to know that we're very excited about MasterCook and its future. We're happy about our recent release of MasterCook 14, but as Pam said, it's just the start of many great things. As you know, with MasterCook 14, we introduced MasterCook.com as a companion to the PC program. The MasterCook.com functionality was initiated from suggestions from our users, specifically the web import overhaul and the ability to view our recipes from anywhere on any device. We love getting feedback from our users, so keep those suggestions coming. The PC program is very important to us, so you can count on more updates there. In our webinar today, we're going to talk specifically about the mastercook.com functionality because it's completely new and we know people have questions. As you know, we've already rolled out some updates to mastercook.com. The nice thing about developing for the web is that it's possible to get updates out to you very quickly and it requires no action on your part. So you can expect to see some significant updates within two months. That's enough for me. Let's get to it. Pam, we'll take it from here. And click on register. When the create your account web page appears, fill in the text boxes to create your account. There is a free account available and there is a paid account. Here are the differences. If you have a free account, you can save up to 25 recipes. If you have a paid account, you can save up to 5,000 recipes. If you've purchased MasterCook 14, you have a one-year subscription to the paid account included as part of your purchase. When you have MasterCook 14, you can use the web account in conjunction with the program in ways that make both the web account and the program more valuable. So we hope that people who try the free account will be motivated to move up to the paid account. We think using the program and the web account together opens up some great possibilities for discovering new recipes, viewing them on different devices, and sharing them. It's not just a PC program, and it's not just an iPad app. It's a PC program for those who want that. There are web features that can work on an Android phone. They can work on an Apple phone. They can work on a tablet. They can work on your sister-in-law's computer while you're on vacation. We're trying to give users something that's flexible and that gives them options. After you've created your web account, what can you do? Well, the first thing you should do is install our bookmarklet. It's this red Add to Master Cook button. If you've been to the website, you've probably seen it on the front page. You need to make sure that your bookmark toolbar is showing in your browser. If you don't know how to do that, it's pretty simple, but we posted instructions here if you need them. Once the Bookmarks toolbar is showing, all you have to do is drag this onto your toolbar. And then click Yes when it asks you if you want to add this bookmarklet. To show you how it works, let's go to a popular recipe site and find a recipe. Click on the bookmarklet and a window pops up. This window shows all the details of the recipe that have been captured and that will be sent to your account. You can edit the recipe in this window. Notice that there are tabs at the top of the window that you can move between. 
the source allows you to change the recipe's image, and the time allows you to input time, and the more info allows you to fill in uh, description and serving ideas, notes, and wine. If the recipe text is behind the web import window, you can click on the move to left link to move the window out of the way. There are also fields in this window that can help you organize this recipe within your cookbooks. For example, you can specify which cookbook you want to send this recipe to. You can categorize the recipe. You can see that the bookmarklet captures a lot of information at once, and it also allows you to customize it. We think our Clipper does it better than anyone else's. It works extremely well, but if you encounter a problem, please report it to us. We'll work on it and try to improve it, because we want it to stay the best. Take a look at what's inside this window before you send it to your account. Make sure everything is the way you want it. This will save you time later. If for some reason you don't like how it's turned out, you can click on this link that says clear and start over. If you've looked at it and everything looks good, click on the save button and you'll get a confirmation that the recipe has been sent successfully. So you've just sent this recipe to your web account. If you want, you can now download it to MasterCook 14 as well. We just made an upgrade to this feature that we think is pretty cool. Right now we're going to skip downloading this recipe so we can show you this new feature. We're going to clip another recipe. And we'll do this real quick. It looks fine, so we'll scroll down and click Save. Now you see we have a list of recipes we've recently clipped, and we can use the check boxes here to decide what we want to download. Click on Download, and click on Open in this Internet Explorer pop-up window, and MasterCook launches and prompts you to select the cookbook to import into. I really enjoy using the new Web Import Toolbar, especially now that I can use it in any web browser and from my tablet. That's it for the demo, and I'll turn it over to Tony, and we can take your questions. Thanks, Pam. Thanks, Pam. Great job. If you haven't already, you can type your question into the GoToWebinar window under where it says Questions. Remember, for today's webinar, we're only taking questions on mastercook.com. So the first question we have is, when using the bookmarklet, will the ability to add more than one category be added in the future? And we've looked at that, and we do plan on adding that at some point in the future. The next question, does the web, does the web import feature uh, work on recipes on blog sites. It, it definitely should, and uh, it, there's a lot of great blog sites that um, have been captured so far, and we are constantly working to uh, support more sites and to support the sites we do even better. But if you do run into one that uh, just doesn't import quite right, you can send uh, a support ticket using our support website, support mastercook.com um, and, and just let us know what recipe on what website you had the problem. And it helps too if you let us know if you have the problem with every recipe on the website versus just that uh, recipe. It just helps us understand um, the magnitude of the problem. Another question is um, wanting us to add the webinar uh, to YouTube so that others who couldn't make it today could um, could view it, and we definitely plan on doing that. So uh, look look for that in the next uh, few days. The, n the next question is how many recipes can you import at once? Um, at this time, uh, we're only able to support one recipe. Uh, the when you when you click Add to Master Cook. We support importing one right now, and if if there's more than one recipe on the page, you can stay on that page and add the second one manually. Um, 
we're, we're specifically going to try to uh, grab multiple recipes on a single page. Uh, one of the things that um, we, uh, we probably won't do is going out and grabbing from a, from a large list of recipes and going through and, and, and grabbing um, the entire list. Next question, can I browse and import recipes directly from within MasterCook 14? Uh, right now, it's, everything is, is handled within the, the web interface, and um, we will be adding uh, more and more features to mastercook.com, um, so that will allow you to use more of the MasterCook features directly uh, from mastercook.com. Um, but as of right now, um, you go to the website, import them, and when you want to bring them down into MasterCook 14, you can. Next question, is there currently an app for the iPad? Uh, we don't have a specific native app yet. It's, it's definitely in our roadmap. We, we are uh, wanting to get one out there. However, uh, we do support uh, all devices that have a mobile browser. So you can use the web interface. Uh, and like I said earlier, we're, adding, we're going to be adding more and more features to the web interface, which will, until we get the, uh, the native app out there, um, you can continue to use those features and, and follow us as we add more. Uh, next question, can you choose which photo you want to import to the recipe? Here's one, actually, we can um, maybe have Pam show you how to do that uh, within uh, the web import bar. So essentially what you need to do after you grab the recipe and if it didn't grab the right one for you, um, you can um, find the one you want and go to the source tab in the web import window and you see the image URL there. What you want to do is find the picture that you want and then you can grab the image URL from that picture. Yep. And then replace it in that image URL. So essentially, when you when you get that image URL from the image, you can paste it into this uh, edit box here, and then hit the refresh button there. And with that, um, if we had a different uh, URL there, that would show up in the um, refreshed when you go back to the recipe tab. Okay, looking for the next question here. Any updates planned for the interface in existing iPhone shopping apps, such as iGrocery? Um, so we definitely, uh, shopping lists are uh, important to us. Uh, obviously, they, they function in, within, the, uh, within MasterCook 14, the MasterCook PC app. And we plan on, on adding that functionality, that is its core functionality that whatever platform we develop on, that's, that's going to be important. Um, in, we, have, we have a lot of creative things that uh, we want to do down the road, um, but we, we have to get some more of the core functionality in place before we can do uh, some, of the, some, of the, uh, some of those items. Okay, looking for the next question here.
So one person asks, um, is there a limit to how many recipes that uh, can be imported? Um, so essentially, if you, if you have the free account, which you're able to sign up for um, without, without purchasing MasterCook, uh, you can store 25 recipes. And if you have the paid account uh, that, that comes with MasterCook 14, you can store up to 5,000. Um, okay, another question just came here. Uh, does the web interface work with MasterCook 11? Um, it doesn't specifically because we wanted to support the functionality that allows you to export your pictures with, uh, with the recipe. So with MasterCook 14, you're, you're able to export the picture and recipe and upload those to mastercook.com. Uh, Pam, we had uh, one person wanting to you to do another web import. Um, if uh, if you wanted, if there's another uh, recipe there, you could uh, do that. While we wait for the next question. Um, well, while Pam gets set up there, uh, we had another question just come in. Um, if I have a bunch of recipes on mastercook.com right now, can I download them into mastercook14 all at once? Uh, there's the easiest way to do that right now is you can download an entire cookbook uh, by clicking on uh, when, when you are in cookbooks view. So if you go to my cookbooks, um, and it shows your cookbooks. Um, if you click that download link there, that will download the entire cookbook. And uh, that's that's going to be your your best way to get multiple uh, recipes downloaded. Next question: uh, How much is the paid account? after the one year has expired? That's a great question. Um, we've had, we've had uh, quite a few questions on that. And uh, what, what we have with the mastercook.com account uh, is after this first year, it's going to be $9.99 per year. So you can continue to use the mastercook.com functionality um, if you um, continue to renew the one year renew the year subscription at $9.99. Uh, another question just came in. What is the best way to download a trending recipe into MasterCook 14? That's another really good question. Um, when we consider the sources where these recipes come from as partners, um, they food bloggers and uh, other websites that have uh, recipes on their site, um, we, want, uh, we want people to view those recipes um, from their source before they download it. So when you are looking at a trending recipe, if you click on uh, view this recipe uh, from, you know, and it'll, it'll say the, the website that, uh, like the one Pam has right now, view full recipe from allrecipes.com. From there, if you click on uh, the Add to MasterCook, that's, that's essentially how you get recipes from trending recipes into your account. Again, we really want you to go out to the source to view those recipes first. And uh, you know, as a reminder, we're, we're, you're bringing those down for personal use um, onto your, uh, into your MasterCook account. Next question, are there any updates in the works? And the answer is definitely. Um, we're constantly updating the product and uh, we are, uh, have updates planned for both the web and uh, the MasterCook PC application.
So the next question is, can you edit or re-edit online? Um, that's, a, that's another great question, and that's actually part of um, the, the, next, the next major update that we're planning. Um, you will be able to do that, so that's coming soon. So next, next question is another good one. Um, will we have to subscribe to a web account to receive updates for MasterCook 14 after one year? So there's, there's two types of updates. There's, there's updates that, um, that are minor and they're um, really fixes to, um, to MasterCook 14. You will never be charged for any of those updates. Um, if you have when you have a, a full subscription for the 1999, um, you are entitled to any full uh, new version we come out with during that year. So if, if uh, MasterCook 15 uh, were to come out um, in, in the next month, you would get that for free because your 1999 account um, covers that for one year. Next question, what's the best way to avoid duplicating recipes during upload and download? Um, that's, a, that's a great question, and um, I'm assuming when that happens, um, you know, maybe you've uh, imported the same recipe twice um, or uh, uploaded uh, on accident, uploaded uh, uh, this maybe a... Uh, a recipe from two different cookbooks or something like that. But um, right now uh, we still have uh, we still have some work to do in making that um, viewing the list of recipes a little easier to use and, and more functional. So the ability to sort by different uh, fields within that list um, that's that's also coming. So when that's there, um, you'll be able to avoid situations like that. All right, any more questions? Um, next one just came in. How often do trending recipes refresh? That's another great question. Um, when, when we first launched mastercook.com, Obviously, there was no trending recipes because people hadn't uh, been adding uh, recipes yet. Now that we've got uh, a few, a couple of months worth of recipes that people have been adding, and, and people are more aware of the features um, with uh, with this next update, this next major update, we will be changing that logic so that the trending recipes will. Uh, refresh every day, uh, meaning every every time you come to the page, there'll be um, you know, new and fresh content there. Okay, reading through the next question here. So, uh, question here is. How do I sync both MasterCook 14 and MasterCook.com when I may have added a recipe manually to the desktop program? So the right now the the way you need to do that is um, export if it's if it's a single recipe or or multiple recipes, you want to export that um, to an MZ2 file and then upload that to MasterCook.com. Um, so again, you know this this uh, to refer to our comments at the beginning. We're really getting just getting started, and uh, we really plan on having the ability to sync your content from MasterCook.com or MasterCook 14 and MasterCook.com automatically, so that you don't have to do anything, and uh, you, you pick and choose uh, which cookbooks or collections that you would like to synchronize with mastercook.com and then from there all you need to do is uh, change a recipe and it automatically gets gets synced uh, and it, it 
will work both ways as well. So if you change something on mastercook.com, it will automatically appear on mastercook14 when you bring it up. All right, any more questions? What is the time frame for these updates? So the, the updates that uh, uh, I was mentioning earlier with, uh, with the mastercook.com uh, updates, those are, those are coming in the next couple of months, um, specifically uh, the ability to edit recipes on mastercook.com, shopping lists, and uh, recipe sharing. Uh, those, those are the, the next, and along with the trending recipe logic, um, those are the major changes that we're working on for the for the next release, and um, of, of mastercook.com, and that those will be happening in the next couple of months. Uh, one question: Would you please explain what trending recipes is? Um, essentially, what we want with trending recipes is as people add um, recipes to um, using the web import, uh, we take note of the most popular ones that are that are being added, and we list those on the on the trending recipes page. So essentially, it's a way, um, you know, if uh, let's say Pioneer Woman you know comes up with a new with a new recipe that people um, you know would love to have, and a lot of people are are adding it to their account. Um, we'll show that on, on trending recipes so um, people can see some of these things as they're, as they're happening. Um, another question on whether this uh, session will be re-aired. Um, we, we definitely plan on, we're recording this session and we uh, hope to make it available uh, in the next few days. Um, another another question: Are all my recipes being tracked for tr trending recipes? Uh, the answer is no. We just we're just tracking the ones that are being added the most. And and I should add too. This this is another thing that really needs to. Um, uh, be said is with within trending recipes those are only recipes that were added via the web import bar um, and again we just note which which ones are being added the most uh, we will never if you upload your own recipes to uh, uh, mastercook.com those are com those uh, are completely private to you and will never be added anywhere else no one else will be able to see them um, uh, and unless you specifically um, want them to. Okay, here's a here's a good idea from a a user. It'd be nice to have a list of websites where people have added their Mastercook online account not just specific recipes. So essentially to list off the most popular sites as well. That's a good idea and um, we, uh, I think we should consider doing that. Um, next question, I created a cookbook on one computer. How can I access this book from a different machine? Um, there's ways to do that within the Mastercook PC application, um, but today we are talking just about mastercook.com. The best way to do that is um, you can, with with just a couple of clicks, you can export your entire cookbook to um, an MZ2 file and upload it to mastercook.com, and then you'll have access from from anywhere. And um, if you if you want to learn more about how to do that within uh, the Mastercook PC application, go ahead and send a support ticket in to, 
using the support.mastercook.com site. Um, adding RSS services. Um, so there's a question, what about adding RSS services? Um, I, I think that's great, and we do want to get to that point, but there's a, a, a fair amount of core uh, functionality that we have to get in place first. Uh, next question, uh, how do I download my cookbooks from another website? I'm not exactly sure. If you could um, maybe be a little bit more specific with your question, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, n another good question, the Save to Master Cook button seems to work on some sites and not others. Is that to be expected? For right now, yes, and there's no way we'll be able to cover every single site out on the web. Um, we're, we are um, adding more and more, and we'll continue to update uh, the import to work better and better. And the best thing you can do is, when you run into those sites, send us a ticket at support.mastercook.com, and um, we will work to get those uh, sites added. OK, so um, a question. If I have uh, cookbooks and recipes on another uh, web service, can I get them into MasterCook? Um, it, it depends on um, the site and, and how they allow you to export them. You, you, can always, you can always import them one at a time via the web import, but I imagine that you know, would be uh, more work than you'd want to do. I would look to see if there's a way to export them, and if if there is, um, you know, send us a ticket support at mastercook.com, and and we can try to help you out. Uh, can I use photos from the internet from for recipes that I have for Mastercook? Um, I'm assuming you want to pull uh, images from the web and add them to recipes that you have on the MasterCook PC program. Um, yes, you can do that. Um, and since we're covering just mastercook.com functionality today, um, the best thing for you to do is submit a support ticket, and uh, we can help walk you through that. All right, we have another question on um, what's the easiest way to import a trending recipe into my mastercook.com account. Um, again, the best way to do that is to go to click on the um, see full recipe at, and it'll say the website where it was imported from. And when you do that, use the web import uh, window. And so Pam is showing that uh, right now. And then you click the Add to Master Cook, and that'll, that will bring it down. And again, the main reason we want you to go out to the, the source is because these, uh, these different uh, recipe providers are partners, and we really want uh, you to view those recipes from, uh, from those sites. Any other questions? Uh, great question here. Um, does the Add to Master Cook import work on Android devices? Um, I'm going to speak a little bit to this, and, and Pam, you can jump in actually where, um, where I maybe misspeak. Um, so essentially on, on Android devices, if you have a Chrome uh, if you use Chrome as your browser, 
and you synchronize your favorites, it will then appear in your favorites list on your Android device, and you can use the web import button. Is that is that right, Pam? Well, it, um, you have to um, copy the JavaScript uh, uh, text that's on option number two from the um, web import. You copy and select that. Um, and you copy that and you paste it into the uh, address URL for the web page, and that will bring up the web import window over the top of um, the recipe you're viewing, and it will allow you to click on the Save button from there. Okay, thanks, Pam. Uh, next question, do, we, do you plan on having more webinars? And the answer is yes, definitely. Um, we uh, um, we think it's a great way to um, really for users to see some hands-on examples of how how to do different things within MasterCook. So um, we don't have a, a regular schedule yet, um, but we will. Uh, we're working on the next ones, and and we'll communicate when those are. Any time, if you'd like to see a webinar on a specific topic, you can always submit those to support.mastercook.com. And a question on a future webinar on a desktop product. Yeah, we can we can definitely do that. And and what we'll probably do is. Um, since the desktop product uh, has so much functionality, we'll probably divide it up to a specific theme um, and, and go at it that way. So uh, another question essentially is, uh, the actual question is, can we, on trending recipes, can we limit by an ingredient such as no dairy? And so essentially, that would be adding search capabilities into the trending recipes uh, pages. That's something that um, we, we've thought about and would like to have in the future. Um, but for right now, um, you know, we have a lot of core functionality that we need to get out there. Um, but that's a, that's a great idea. Uh, when will MasterCook upgrade to a newer level? Uh, I'm guessing the the question there is when will MasterCook 15 come out? Um, we don't have a specific date for that yet, uh, so stay tuned. Any more questions? Uh, here's another one. Um, how do I add categories to an online cookbook? Um, that's a that's a great question, and we don't have the ability to do that yet. Um, but we um, will be adding that uh, in in future updates. Um, you know, one way you could do it now is so when when you upload recipes uh, from MasterCook. Um, we actually bring along the categories that you have assigned to that recipe. So if you really want a category um, to appear on mastercook.com, just upload a recipe that contains that category and, and uh, you should have it. Uh, another question here, uh, will you have uh, a product uh, just for the web, web only? Um, and we will, we do plan on an offering that will, you know, maybe if you have friends or family that don't want to invest entirely into the MasterCook uh, PC application and they, they just would like to get started maybe by sharing some of your recipes, um, 
we, we, we do plan on having a uh, mastercook.com only product available uh, within the next couple of months. So that might be a great way for you to uh, share recipes with family members that maybe aren't quite ready for the full Mastercook yet. Uh, here, here's, a, here's a comment more than a question. Uh, wanted to thank Pam for her years of dedication to supporting this product. And we here at Mac MasterCook echo that completely. We are um, fully appreciative of Pam and uh, uh, absolutely love her, her input and involvement. Um, so another question, is there a way to find just one kind of recipe such as cheesecakes? Um, it, it depends. Um, first of all, assuming you're talking about mastercook.com, and if you have within your recipe library on mastercook.com, um, in the upper right-hand corner, you've got uh, a search, uh, the search capabilities there where you can search your recipes. And those are just your recipes, not trending recipes. Um, so it, it performs a text search um, on your recipe. So if you, you've got a cheesecake recipe that you're looking for, um, and Pam is actually just showing, demonstrating that right now. Um, so that, that's uh, uh, some capabilities there too. I'm not sure everyone knows is there. Um, that you can always search through your uh, recipe collection on mastercook.com through that uh, upper right hand uh, window. Um, another question on how I add categories. Um, the, best, the best way to do that, um, you know, we'll be adding that to the web um, in the future, the ability to manage your own uh, categories, um, but until then, the best way to do that is to uh, upload a recipe that contains the category that you want, and it will be added to the site. Okay, here's a here's a really good. Um, question here. Trying to upload from MasterCook 14 and all the cookbooks I want to import are MC2, not MZ2. The reason that is, is you have to uh, actually export your uh, cookbooks into uh, MZ2 files. So Pam is showing that right now. Um, so you have the ability to export uh, any recipes multiple recipes or even your entire cookbook, um, you export them to a file um, and make sure you have the MZ2 option selected there and then hit export. You can then upload those recipes into mastercook.com. And you know, with that being said, we, we definitely plan on uh, in the future adding the ability to automatically sync your uh, recipes to mastercook.com. Um, next question is, do I understand that I can upload my cookbook from PC to mastercook.com, then download it onto my iPad? Um, the answer is basically yes. Um, you upload your cookbook from, uh, from your PC to mastercook.com, and then all you have to do is go to mastercook.com on your iPad. Um, through the through the web browser, and you have access to all your recipes right there. You don't have to do anything further. All right. Any other questions?
Uh, just just a reminder too that uh, there's a comment on on shopping lists. Um, when you download your recipes uh, into MasterCook, you can those recipes work just like any other recipe um, that you've added to MasterCook. So you can uh, send them directly to your shopping list or you know whatever you want to do with them. Uh, they work the same way. Any other questions? We've got uh, 12 more minutes. Okay, where does it export the file to when you are converting from, uh, mass, from MC2 to MZ2? And the answer to that is uh, you can specify uh, where what folder you want to export those to when you're exporting. So as you see Pam here showing us um, the selection screen um, to, sh to uh, where you can specify they get exported to. Um, the question on uh, where will I find the webinar uh, when when you put it online? Um, we'll we'll put a link to it uh, on our on our site and we'll, on mastercook.com, and we'll also try to put a link to it on support.mastercook.com as well. Time for a few more questions here. Can I delete an in individual recipe from the website? Definitely. All you have to do is uh, go go to your recipe, which Pam is going to do for you here, and then click on the delete link right there, and that will give you the ability to uh, delete just that recipe. You can also delete an entire cookbook. Uh, if you want, um, you can go to your cookbook and hit delete. And just a word to the wise there that that deletes all of the recipes that are contained within that cookbook. So uh, make sure that uh, you, you actually want to delete the cookbook and the recipes within it. Uh, the other thing you can do, actually, if you if you don't want to delete an entire cookbook or an individual recipe, um, you can go into List View. Pam, do you want to show them List View there? Um, so in the future, um, when we're in List View, um, you'll be able to select uh, some of those some of those recipes and and delete one specifically that you want. Um, Gone. All right, any more questions on mastercook.com? We've got about nine more minutes. Right. Um, we'll wait uh, a little bit longer here, and then um, we'll we'll sign off. Um, I just want to say again how excited we all are all here about MasterCook. Um, we MasterCook has an amazing future, and and we're really happy to uh, start adding adding more features and and. Uh, Remember, at any time, you know, if you have a idea, something you want to see, um, uh, you can always send us a note at support.mastercook.com. Uh, 
Pam is, uh, sees everything that goes to support.mastercook.com um, as well as our team here. And so it'll get assigned accordingly. And we always like suggestions and uh, as, as, uh, as you have them, um, you can definitely send them over. Okay, so I think that's it. And uh, until next webinar, um, thanks for uh, thanks for a great hour. <laughs>